This video is property of MBKP International LLC. This is part one of a line in the mirrors. The first thing you want to do is unplug this machine. Have this turned off and then unplug it. Raise this lid up. And when you want to, um, we're going to take out these two wires here. First, this flat one. And when you're taking any out any wire, you want to watch, pay attention to the way it came out, so to make sure, you, so you know how to put it back in. Now, this one I realized that this side's blue, that side's not. I know it was like this, so I know the blue side was facing that, so I know to put it back in that way. And if I need to make a note of it, then I can do that. Pull this one straight out as well. Now, it could be a little different if you have the USB. This is actually the parallel port board. If you have the USB, it could be slightly different, but it's basically going to be the same thing. And basically, what all we did there is we disabled the power to this. So when we turn this machine on, this is still going to be dead, and we can move it by hand. Okay. Okay, now we can go ahead and just actually plug this back in. We'll go around back here. I'll go ahead and turn this on. And this should be now. This this water pump is plugged in, so this water should be flowing. As you can see, it's flowing through the tube. And you want to have the water flowing through the tube before you do any laser testing or using this machine. And the water must be 41 degrees or less, and it's a good idea to have distilled water run into it. it. Just helps your tube last a lot longer. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of cardboard. You want to make it about as close to the size of this as possible. You can make it round if you want like this, if you, if you want to take the time. I just made it square, the same size as that. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take this piece of cardboard and we're going to tape it on this, over this mirror. This is the first mirror. You're going to center it over that mirror as, as close as possible center. That's why you need it the same size of it so you know that it is centered on it. Okay? And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to test fire this laser. Laser will come out of here and it's going to hit this. And by by this being on here, it's going to burn a mark on it. And we're going to be able to tell how close to center we are. And if we're not center, we're going to know which way we need to adjust that mirror. We're going to close this back up. So this lid and that lid must be closed to test the laser. Or to use this laser in any way. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure this is turned down very low. I turned it all the way counterclockwise till it stopped. And I'm going to turn it about one full turn after that. That's about one tenth of its power, if even that. And from there, we're just going to hit us and just hold this button down. And you can watch the amp meter, but I'm just going to do a, just a frac couple fractions of a second here. Should be enough to burn a mark on that. Now, again, you just want to burn a mark on it. That's why we got the setting down to a very low power and why we only do it for a fraction of a second. You don't want to burn all the way through it. Just by burning the mark at it, you can tell which way you need to align the mirror. Okay. As you can see there, it's it's pretty much center this way, so I don't need to raise or lower it, but it's off to the to the back of it a little bit, so it'd have to go a little bit that way. So basically what I'd want to do there is loosen these two here and then just pull it, slide this back slightly and then tighten them back up. Okay, those two are used to slide this back and forth. You can even you can even rotate a little bit that way or that way if you need it to. And basically that would be used to rotate if you need to to hit the next mirror. Now these screws right here, I don't need to do it on this one because it was hitting the center, but these three screws here, big ones, they're used to raise and lower this whole assembly. You can raise or lower this thing if you need it to, up or down. But that's the screws to take to to adjust this and you want to get this laser to hit it dead center. Once you got it hit it dead center, you can move on to the next mirror. Okay, and these finger posts here are used to adjust this mirror, twist it or whatever to hit the next mirror. You can all, again you can also loosen these two here and just talk this back and forth a little bit to get it to hit the next mirror right if you need to. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close that up and move on to the next one. Okay, again, we already adjusted this mirror. It was a little bit off. I'm not going to. It's still hitting the mirror, so I'm not going to bother with adjusting it because I don't got time in this video. But it, as long as it's hitting the mirror, it will bounce to the next mirror. Okay. And when you when you for adjust this next mirror, you want to pull this all the way to the back because you want to get it hit as far away as possible. If you adjusted it up here, it could be hitting it, but it could be at a, it could be at an angle. And then by the time you pull it back here the angle would be too far off and it would miss it way back here. So you want to get it, pull it back all the way back and adjust it there first. 
and we'll do that in the in the next video.